Nestled in the Himalayas, beside the peaceful sound of the monasteries, surrounded by the breathtaking beauty, comes the first ever Mahajong Aquarium Poker Championship in Sikkim. Two tournaments across four days, prize money worth one crore guaranteed, and bragging rights at the start of the year, Everyone who's coming here is making sure that they take home the inaugural titles. It's been surreal almost, if I can say that. I don't know if it's maybe the place or the energy because, you know, it's up in the mountains and you know, I'm a meditator myself, so coming to a place like this is just, um, is really special. So pristine, so quiet, so peaceful. It's a, probably a refreshing change for a lot of poker players who are now playing in an atmosphere which is nice and calm. Once I heard about acquiring poker championship happening in Gangtok, it was a no-brainer. And I was very keen on coming here because I've never been to Sikkim before, I've never been this far. Ah, it's called Jannat. APC is all about getting the poker community together, which can actually prove to the world that uh, India has a lot to offer when it comes to poker. And it's time for the 100k high roller of the APC where poker players from across the country fight it out to see who amongst them is the most skilled at the mind sport we call poker. I'm here to play this tournament which has uh, given us an opportunity from Nepal to come very close here in India in Sikkim to get to play with people that are like uh, really some of the top players in India. When I walked out of my room in the morning, I was surprised to see the turn up. I didn't expect for 90 people to show up, you know, for the high roller, for example. Looking at the numbers, 90, it was fascinating. The guarantees were crushed. The thing about tournaments is only one person goes home happy. I was first thinking if someone's gonna bluff me and he's gonna show, I will not even look at the cards. I will like very kind of poker face. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to face a lot of people here. A lot of people. These guys are like assassins, you know what I'm saying? All of our friends, they have these pro badges. This says out of 52 or poker high or whatever. And they, like me and Romit were speaking about this. And uh, like, you know, we, we decided that we'll just call ourselves Team Apna Pesa. I think it was uh, an excellent format. It gives you time to understand the players. It gives you time to get a feel of the table. That, that's what's so beautiful about the game, that you know somebody will just come with a dream to, to ship one of these tournaments or to play one of these tournaments. That thrill about being able to bust one of the best pros in, in India or the thrill about being able to bluff somebody out, that thrill is that keeps it alive. Rishabh was on the other table and he asked me how much I have. I took three chips and I showed it to him like that. I had just three chips remaining. And from there, I mean, you need some luck and a little bit of skill. Got into some pretty cool spots. Uh, yeah, I ended up making it to day two with, uh, I think, third in chips. All the players, they know me as a player. They know me as Sabo. They don't know me as a TD, right? They call me Sir for some reason, I don't know why. Sir, second hand, I took pura whole hand. This particular tournament, uh, when we were nine way, when uh, Dawal had lost a big pot and uh, he was down to half an ante, I had to just wait for him to, uh, you know, bust and uh, get a pay jump. But I did an ICM suicide and uh, I finished ninth. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a sick final table uh, tomorrow. The 100k high roller drew 90 entries to everyone's surprise. And the final table was filled with the who's who of Indian poker as well as a first-timer, which clearly shows that anyone can excel at this sport. The final table was a lot of fun. Uh, if somebody won a hand, we were rooting. We didn't think you were playing for so much money, though we were, but you know, we just enjoyed ourselves a lot. At one point, I was the chip leader and I thought that I would just cruise through, but that doesn't happen. I lost a couple of pots in between and like making it to the final table and like, you know, playing there, it was like really great. Give big round of applause Day two, I hit some cards obviously because you can't win tournaments without hitting cards. Then I came third, but I was still upset for so long because I lost like kings to ace queen. 
both of them were having like 10 lakhs and 9 lakhs. I was having 16 lakhs. Abhinavatya raises from Bhutan. Akash Malik uh, raises three bets him. And I tank for a while and then and I pull uh, Aditya house on top and gets a call from Snap from Akash Malik with Kings. And uh, Aditya was in danger with Ace Queen, but then to his fortune he did both Ace, Ace and Queen. So it was a bittersweet experience, but uh, I was very happy with the way I played. I have played a lot of heads up, mostly online. And the major thing was that we were playing that heads up for 15 lakhs. Which I didn't keep in mind because I was just playing for this trophy, not for money. No poker player will tell you, I just want to make it to the final table. Every single poker player that you speak to, why are you playing the tournament? They want to win it. Winning the APC main event is the world. It's the first tournament of the year. Everyone wants to get that head start over everyone else. I'm hopeful for the main event and this because you know the structures are beautiful. So you know you, you have one more shot at the main event. Like I said, only one person goes home happy. Now it's the moment everyone has been waiting for. The main event. The field yesterday was super, super soft. I could actually spot not more than one pro or two pro at table. So it was really good, but uh, I didn't go with the kind of stack I, would, I was hoping for. So day one, I uh, had a pretty rough day. Um, I started off just card dead, card dead, through and through. I still don't know how I made day two because I inched and inched my way to keep my stack just alive above water. I started off really well in this one and I just kept going and kept going and ended day one as a chip leader in the main event. Final table I bleed it, I went down to 120 something. When I went for a break, all my friends were like, dude, what is this dude? I said, okay. I saw I was the least tag there. Everyone I about 250, 350, 4. I said, dude, I'm finished. We played for about an hour, hour and a half and nobody was going out. So the atmosphere was a little intense that way. And Ended up entering the final table third in chips, but after that, not uh, too much went my way, and I ended up finishing sixth. No pressure so much, you know. Just being aware of what your stack size is and how someone else is playing, and just like gearing to the dynamic going on that moment, just like adjusting. When we were down to two players, he had a 2-1 to one advantage, but right after we made the deal and we were in a big pot, again it was a flip, where again I had pocket eights. Pocket eights had been really nice to me today. And he had ace queen, I flopped quads. The final hand. Small big 20-40. I did it 160 something. He shout, all in. I said, I have no more patience. No one will call this hand. Jack Queen suited of hearts, I call. And the flop opens four, nine, and 10. Four, nine are hearts. Apo just shut this card and he said, bro, you are so lucky, man. And I was covering him. The tag was around 16, 50, and my tag was around 17. Runner, runner, I got bursted. His ace came down. He got lucky. I was with 50K. 50K, we did the flip, we won out of the tournament. My strategy was to keep playing aggressive, to put pressure on the opponents. A lot of players were not as experienced, so I kept raising them and cards fell my way. To have your friends around, it's like all the support and love they give me. It feels great, like this is my second tournament that I've won. 
and it's been after a gap of almost three years. So it feels great. I'm a little tired, but trust me, I'm feeling awesome right now. <laughs> the message for the players is thank you very much because it's successful because of them. Winners don't do different things, they do it differently. This is a tournament experience. I will be coming back, 100%. To the guys who didn't come this time, see you next time. You just missed out a lot. I mean, just be here for the next one, yeah?